Today, local hunters hope to prove that suburban deer hunting solves more than one problem. Those hunters dropped off 700 pounds of venison to the Salvation Army. Fox 5's Alex Whitler joins us from the live desk to explain why. Alex? First though of the night, smoked her. She ran probably 20 or 30 yards and piled up right there. They clearly enjoy what they're doing and they're helping people in the process. A twofer, as you say. Well, boys and girls, it is Doe Day 2024. I'm um, with my buddy Griffin up here, and uh, we got a bunch of guys coming in. It's about a week before the actual doe day, so we came to hang a saddle set. We got two platforms, some sticks. We're going to hang a set for me and Griffin to hunt out of. He's got a bunch of does in this area, and uh, we just got to get up high. So we're going to hang this set, and then we'll be back in here in about a week. Over here, if you put corn out, and one deer comes into the spot, there'll be 15 or 20 more out in the field and they'll get so competitive over it. They'll start chasing each other across the field to get in here. So, for those of you that don't know, we do a doe day every year, get a bunch of hunters together in the Atlanta area and just try to do our part on helping out the deer population as far as the deer population is just booming out here and it's just taking over. People can't have plants and stuff like that and people are hitting them with cars and we try to do our best to take out a few does every year or as many as we can and then with the seek one boys we donate all the meat to help people feed people in need it's a really good thing and our set is hung we are ready for doe day so we'll pick you guys up when we're hunting right. baby koa is crying in the background but we have restocked the four-year average does rope hats the last time we put them on the site they sold out in three days koa's in the background crying he wants you to buy the hat so i can pay for his diapers but seriously this is my lucky hat this past season. Once we sell out of these, this patch will be gone and we're not gonna bring it back. So get them while you can. Let's get on with the video. Yeah, we finna put her in the, in the back of the truck. <laughs> She'll be in there in about she's, 30 minutes. She eating on some acorns, some acorns or something. Well, boys and girls, we just pulled up to the spot. We got does in front of us in the front yard. It is Atlanta Doe Day, number one, with the Seek One Boys, Chris B, Jason, Cheeto, we got a freaking ton of guys up here, and uh, they actually opened it up to you guys this year to be able to donate. Last year, we were able to donate a ton of meat. When I say we, the Sequin Boys, this is their deal that they have been involving more and more people each and every year. Super thankful for them for just allowing us to come and um, help out, do a great thing. So we're about to get in. Me and Jay are hunting together today. Got to hang a set real quick, and then... Get all do day started for 2024. Here we go. That one or the one that Well, boys and girls, we got it started off right. Jason is on the board. We got a group text, and pretty much everybody is killed this morning. <laughs> Lee, Drew, Zach, Kendall. There's a bunch of deer down right now. I think Lee has two already. The weather was calling for like 12 degrees this morning, and luckily it has warmed up. It's only like 38, 39 degrees, which is super nice. But this weekend it's gonna get really, really cold. That other doe saw Jason's doe go down and she was acting all weird. She was about to come in, almost into like a shooting lane for me, and she just turned around and I don't have anything trimmed on this side of the tree. The tree that we're sitting in is a spot that me and Kenzie hunted for a while after a good buck. There should be some more does and a potential buck come through, so we're gonna sit tight until we meet up with the boys, go get this doe. 
hunting right now. Also getting off for the shift to go work at the chicken plant. Chicken plant? <laughs> what does that mean? Everybody, I, there's a chicken plant by my house. Everybody wears that. <laughs> go go check in at the chicken plant. We're ready to hunt or work. Either one. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your best dance moves. Corvette, Corvette. Yeah, hit the gritty real quick. Cause last year, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. That might be the first gritty ever in a tethered, <laughs> in a tethered platform. Yes, sir. First doe of the, of the doe day. Yes, sir. That's fire. That's fire. <laughs> That's fire. Well, don't Did I did it exit low? Golly, son. Pastor. Bro, that, that might have exited really low because of the white hair. Yeah. If that if that did, I got lucky I hit that high. Because she would have only like one lunged or something. That would have been bad. I'm curious to see this now. Let's follow this blood trail. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. That's what these leaves are wet too, so it's like harder to see it still. Look at the tree. Yep. Come down through here. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Let's roll. Got the dough. Luckily in this area. Pretty much this whole street, I have permission to retrieve or hunt, so. Got her, now we just gotta get her loaded up. And meet up with the boys. Congrats. Thank you. One of the only ones that killed this morning. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yup, Lee I think killed. This, I think this evening's gonna get crazy. Yeah, I killed one, and Lee killed 18, so. <laughs> we're good, I yeah. think that's it. Yeah. yeah. Just... Lee killed about, maybe 25. <laughs> 30. Yeah, I don't got no doe showing up. Yeah, he's got he, doe showing he's up. Killed them yeah, because he's killing them. <laughs> Hola. Hola, cómo estás, oh. amigo? <laughs> hey. Heard the uh, Saquon boys are taking in donations. There we are. Yeah. Day, day you early. You day early. Yep. Take care of this one yourself. Oh man. Did you not read the instructions? It's not supposed to be until tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, just pick it up. I've never seen the camo jet sled. I like that. So you can lose it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bring her in. You and Jason, the only ones on the board. Andrew. Andrew? Yeah, Andrew. And Michael. And Michael. So we got four guys on the board. But tonight is... Tonight is going down for sure. Yeah. Tonight's have been, the nights have been way, way more consistent. But... So Lee is going to a spot that uh, he and I hunted back-to-back -back days last year. Super overpopulated. You killed four out of it. You shot, you shot three. I the next yeah, shot the three the next sit, and there was just a ton of does in that area. So that's the whole purpose of this. We're trying to thin out <clears throat> the deer population and just do a great thing by donating a lot of this meat. <laughs> we everybody takes it serious when Lee pulls out the camera, but whenever I pull out the camera. Uh, but pretty much everybody's in town now, and we're going to be hunting this evening. Hopefully we can put some numbers up on the board. Tonight we are headed to meet up with my buddy Griffin. We're going to be sitting out of the same tree. He's got a bunch of does in this one area. Everybody's going to be hunting tonight, the whole crew, and there should be a bunch of does shot tonight. So I'm excited. We've got a little bit of a drive. We'll be hunting pretty soon, so. What's going on? It's go time. Extremely. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You ready? Oh yeah. Bunch of does? Tons of them. <laughs> been waiting jacked. for this all year. Been waiting for it for weeks. <laughs> They've been like standing here broadside and it's, it's like against my rule to like just let a deer stand broadside doe. <laughs> I've been doing it, so. They got it coming tonight. I promise you that. We came and hung a set a week ago? Yeah. He already had some sticks, so we put a saddle, uh, two saddle sets in the same tree. So we got a little bit of a walk, and then we'll be in there. Oh, 
<laughs> you ready? For what? <laughs> For what's about to go down. Oh, I'm very ready. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we are in and set. Hunted with Jason this morning, it was awesome, but we are doubling up today with Griffin. Griffin's been feeding this spot for the past few weeks and there is a ton of does. The trail camera pictures are just wild. We, but he's been saving it for today, so all the boys are hunting. I think we've already got a few does down already in yeah. the group chat that people have shot, so we're hoping a bunch of does come in and at least get one doe, but I'm thinking that me and Griffin will at least <laughs> might be able to shoot two or three, so. If you're missing hunting season like I am and need something to get you by until next season without even having to leave your house, download the game Hunting Clash. Not only can you compete with hunters all around the world, Hunting Clash also has some awesome features like a variety of locations, player versus player mode, and dozens of animals to hunt and more. Thanks to Hunting Clash, I can hunt whenever and wherever and so can you. All you have to do is download Hunting Clash by clicking the link in my description or you can scan the QR code on the screen right now. And on top of that, while you're playing, you can get rewards by using my gift code, Yappy. With that being said, I wanna thank Hunting Clash for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into the action. Like 10 or 11. Yeah. It's crazy, they would not break. They'd just sit there and just enter here and just go back and forth and back and forth. And finally that one big one broke and I didn't make the best shot on her. Hit her a little back and then it goes, that was kind of rough. But we watched her fall just on the other side of the field. All of her friends are still standing out there. So All of her friends. <laughs> she'll work back in here in a minute. She's like, it's her frozen. Oh, look out, window down. There was a bunch in here. We were trying to take the most mature one. We got one. There's a bunch still out. They're coming back. All right. I'm up to bat, so here we go. There's probably 10 does all around us right there. Hopefully they'll come back in. Big girl came in. I didn't see that limb right there and uh, held perfectly at 30. When I shot, I just saw the arrow go. It glanced up, right? Deflected a little bit, hit her high, spined her, but I had to have a follow up shot. But we got two does down, baby. I just reviewed the footage trying to figure out what happened, what happened with the shot. The camera angle, it looks like there's a full-on bush that I'm shooting through, but whenever I stand up, 
Like it's at my belly. Camera's at my belly, so when I stand up, I had a perfect gap. That sucks. I hate that, but you hunt long enough, it's gonna happen, so. Follow-up shot, she's dead, and uh, we're gonna sit till dark. Maybe something else will come in, but we'll see. Two does down. You ended it. We got him. <laughs> Let me see this guy. Let me see this guy. I know. I saw like oh, his old oh, hammer spike. Man, <laughs> that is awesome. First buck in Georgia this year. Yeah. Let's go. Dude, he's a stud. Fine. Oh yeah, dude. Like when I saw him, tell you. This is uh, two or three year. Yeah. So, no, when I saw him coming, I was like freaking out. And then when he, I shot him and saw him fall, okay, so I was just like, I, don't I was literally just like, <laughs> this is a great way to end the season. Uh, Chris and Jason? Really? They had deer blown. blown out. Really? Dude, our deer, same situation with me and Griffin. They were like running across the field, get close, and then they're like, weird. But say so deer don't how does that care about, that about human set? Yeah. Right? Uh, really? uh, they, they do. Everybody got blown out. Well, Except for me. Let's go. <laughs> well, was was good. Good. That's <laughs> awesome. Is that where you, where Congrats. Thanks. I'm pumped. Well, hey, hey. Super fresh. Catch What's clean cut. You good? Yeah. How's it going? One? Yeah, got one. You killed one this morning. No, Jason killed one this morning. Oh, Jason killed one. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna try to get the hair off of here so it don't get stuck between your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> this fresh? It's fresh right there, boy. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, there you go. Chris. Come here. I'm not, I'm not gonna hit you. <laughs> what happened? I didn't shoot one. Really? No. Nothing? Nothing. And that's the money spot. No, I mean we I saw some, I almost did. Yeah. Well, I might have done something crazy. Bunch? No. Uh, dude, we probably saw 25 deer tonight running across the field. Get about 30 yards, and then you're just like, it was like crazy swirling wind, and Big Doe came in. Oh, he shot one. I let Griffin hit shoot first. Big Doe came in. I was like, right, I'm going to shoot her. And she, I thought I had a, a gap, a huge gap. There was one branch I couldn't see. Shoot. Spines her. So we got two, but okay, not right. how you want to. Yeah, but okay. still. So, but me, Chris, Sequin Boys, God, there's so many people here that we are gonna hang out, enjoy, and um, this is just the start. Tomorrow is gonna be a huge uh, meetup, and their the Sequin Boys have been doing the Doe Day. This is their thing that they have kind of brought us into, yeah. and it's been awesome, and kind of become a tradition you know, adding on to their tradition of, you know, bringing all their friends, pulling the community together, try to do something good as far as donating these deer and helping people, uh, feed people off the streets and people in the shelters and stuff. So we're gonna hang out with everybody. We got a fire, they're cooking up some fresh back straps. Chris leaves, when do you leave? Monday? Sunday. Sunday afternoon. So this is like the one time I get to see Chris other than this in NWTF. So we're just hanging out with the boys. Enjoying suburban deer camp, dome begetting, whatever you want to call it. Great cause, great people, just having a good time, enjoying what God gave us, and uh, we just feel it, just feeling super blessed, just to be a part of it. So I want to thank the Seek One Boys, um, just for bringing me in, letting me uh, hang out and shoot some does. So, hey, how are hey, you? Hey, y'all, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you catch some big trout today. Yeah, we took. Oh no, it was so cute. To go fishing. That's Sorry right. About it. That's right. Oh, well, good. Good yeah, to see you. Where's Slade at? He's over there by the fire. Oh you know, goodness. Oh goodness. <laughs> Got some back straps going on the old fire. It's been an awesome hunt so far. Me and Chris are gonna be hunting with Griffin at one of his spots in the morning. Hopefully we can knock down some more does, but the Sequin Boys are doing a huge donation, opening it up to the public, to everyone around the Atlanta area that's hunting. So the deer, the deer total is gonna jump in numbers drastically. 
they're inviting people out to come and hang out and just enjoy suburban deer camp so i wish i could be there but i'm gonna get them to send me some videos of everybody hanging out but we're hunting one more time in the morning and then by the end of this hopefully we're gonna be donating all the meat with lee and drew and the sequin boys kendall so just feeling blessed right now to have these guys this circle of friends and uh yeah so we'll see you guys in the morning Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Day two. Day two and it's 17 degrees outside right now. And we have limited hand warmers. <laughs> well boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could say this is fun. Freezing cold. 15 to 20 mile an hour wind. Constant. 15 to 17 degrees. Wind chill factors probably. Zero. <laughs> we haven't seen a single deer, so me and Chris strike out. Well, we came to the truck, which wasn't far from the stand, and a ton of does and a buck have spooked up, so might be able to get a shot at one. Well, boys and girls, it's been a few weeks since the actual doe shoot. Today, we are meeting up with Lee at the processor to get all the meat and take it and donate it in Atlanta. So, we are meeting up with Lee right now. I want to get the final total of how many deer were taken to the processor and uh, how many people actually showed up to the big, <clears throat> the big donation day at the Seek One HQ. So, heard everybody had a great time, but we are about to meet up with Lee right now. So. What's up, Leroy? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Showed up in the uh, nick right of time. time. <laughs> yeah. Some boxes. So, how many deer were total at uh, were donated? Because y'all opened it up to the public this year. So the doe shoot, uh, we donated over 60 deer. Jeez. 30 of them are going to local families in this area by the processor, and then. The other 30 is what we're loaded up right now and taking down the Salvation Army in downtown Atlanta. In Atlanta. And I think that what they said is it's going to last them about three months worth of meat. Jeez. For their that they're going to be so able to cook for everybody. Oh, dude, they're like ecstatic. <laughs> yeah. This, so. so um, and then how many people actually showed up to the dough uh, just to hang out? I think that we had, our best guess was like 225 to 250 yeah. hunters that showed up. That's awesome. One so, thing uh, yeah. that that is cool about the doe shoot that Lee and them have been doing this for how many years? Uh, since 2014, I think. And so just recently in the past, what, three years, I guess? Yeah. He has been involving our friends and Chris B and just getting a big group of guys together for a good cause. And um, this is something that, that we preach on that this has to happen in the suburban areas and the fact that it's helping out so many different communities from this newborn newborn area and areas in Atlanta and there's just so many people that have been affected greatly by this that wouldn't have been possible without the Seek One Boys so it's, it's the most important part of what we do and it what what I was trying to get at, I got lost there for a second but what I was trying to get at is it's also a great time to get in the suburban area you miss that that sense of like deer camp and uh, having everybody, all of our buddies over at Lee's house, it just, it feels that way. And I'm sure it felt that way even better at the Sequin headquarters whenever they got ever, all these hunters from Atlanta together. So they had over 250 people there. And uh, it just gives the suburban hunters that sense of, you know, deer camp, getting around the campfire, just hanging the, out, the telling, com community of yeah, telling deer stories. So this is the final, uh, this is to finish up everything, getting all the deer meat loaded, but uh, to end a season like this is awesome. So we got a bunch more boxes to load up. Good to see you, buddy. See you in a week. Yeah. MBTF. <laughs> MBTF. All right, y'all be safe. Yeah, see you, bud. So Lee is headed to Atlanta right now to donate it to the Salvation Army. They're meeting up with the news crew to spread the word of the good of hunting and what we're doing. I want to thank Lee uh, for involving everybody, including myself. Without them, this, it wouldn't have been possible. So, But this is just an awesome thing that we do every year with the Seek One Boys to um, help the deer population, but also, bigger picture, help people, families in need. So 
what a way to end the season on on a high getting everybody together just feels like suburban deer camp and being able to donate just hundreds of pounds of meat to local families in need so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see seek one's video or chris b's video or <clears throat> or anybody else that was filming i'll have everything linked in the description below hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching but that's pretty much it love you guys and as always Oh, my name's Tristan. I shoot there. <laughs> well, boys and girls, that is it for today's video. I want to thank Hunting Clash for sponsoring today's video. And if you want to download the game, all you got to do is click the link in my description or you can scan the QR code on the screen right now. With that being said, that is it, boys and girls. I'll see you guys on the next one.